Greetings, Commanders. Stealth Boy is back. Do you know someone in the galaxy who is surplus to your requirements? Do you think your organization will be better placed if that person just wasn't around anymore? Do you need a professional to make this problem simply go away? Maybe you want to see how that might be accomplished without anyone knowing they were even there. Also, you might want to see that same bloke make some mistakes and then pretend that it was deliberate, that they just meant to demonstrate how not to do it. If the answer to all these questions is yes, then you are in the right place. It's time for some takedown tactics. Welcome back and welcome to the channel if you are new here. This video will be slightly different format to my guides. It'll be less of a step-by-step -step how to video and the tone will be different to previous content. That said, there will still be plenty of tips, lots of useful information. If you are looking to learn how to tackle elite dangerous odysseys takedown missions without getting detected. Before we jump in, this next sequence of the video will give you a full brief on the mission and has a lot of high level information that will be useful for you to know, but it also contains some detail. If you want to read all that information, I recommend watching back over the sequence later or pausing. It's all optional information for those who are interested, so don't feel you need to take it all in if you just want to get right onto the mission itself. With that said, let's get ready to disembark. I'm now docked at Navarrete's military camp, and here we go. First up, I'm gonna make my way to the command center. This mission isn't 
of the variants that can lead to the settlement starting out hostile to me and so I can just walk straight in. As I approach the first guard I'll do the standard passive scan which means David Swanson here will remain permanently on my radar. Hi David. I recommend you do this as much as possible, it's both useful for avoiding detection but also if you mess up and the settlement turns aggressive because you can see where they are at any time. This mission and location was suggested to me by one of my viewers Jojo. The settlement type is one of the more difficult to infiltrate its command centre although this location is only medium security. When this settlement type has high security there is a higher number of guards and so gaining entry to the command centre without getting spotted and scanned is a lot more difficult. I'm using one of my main strategies here approaching from an elevated position. It's really only because that gives you a good view without getting noticed. So that double take there was me noticing this fellow. No, not Rich. That one walking away. That is the worker that's going to be returning to the command centre at some point. It's a complication and it's one I like to take care of. So to prep for that I'm going to go out of my way to bop over and scan them. This is so I can get advance warning on the radar when they decide to be awkward and interfere with my mission later on. And there they are, Kim Gates, the researcher. Welcome to my radar, Kim. Oh, and look who it is. There you are, Norris Cross, target acquired. As I spin around and scan Norris's security detail through this window, I'll add that this window is often a great place to clone a level three ID from. In this case, it's a lot trickier due to there being two of them and the way they move about. At any rate, this location here is a lot easier. I can just crouch here and wait patiently for my moment. A good tip here is you can listen out for their patrol check-in as a signal for when they're about to move again. And you'll notice here that I move forward a good few paces before starting the scan. This just makes it easier to keep on target as they walk away. Thanks Trinidad! An alternative method to gain access to the command building, if you have a properly silenced weapon, is to just kill all the guards and the wandering worker that patrol just outside the front and then you can just use your arc cutter to gain access. As it is, I've got level 3 access and so I can go wherever I want. Entering pressurized environment. There's Trinidad. This is my first target. It's possible to evade this guard, but it significantly increases the risk of getting spotted as you enter the restricted area. And Trinidad isn't the only guard who patrols here. I can kill him here, but then the body will get clocked by the other guard. So I'm going to wait for my moment, stay close to him and keep an eye out for the guard who will at some point wander down those steps. Now that Trinidad is all alone, I'm free to take him down quietly with my silenced executioner. Sorry mate, but crime doesn't pay. Oh well, maybe it pays me. I'm 99% certain that guard number two is right behind this door. Yep, there he is. This approach just means I can avoid getting scanned, so I don't need to waste time discarding the illegally cloned identification. And I can just edge around and... Targeted for security scan, non-compliance will trigger a lethal response. Well, in your case, Chris, guilty until proved innocent, I think. Guilty ah, guilty. Now it's time to make my way into the SEC room, take out the guard between me and the alarms panel. This one always wanders and you can be patient and usually time it right, but I, uh, don't. Oops. Hey there. No, no, sorry. I didn't know this was a restricted area, Shane. I'm not in the restricted area anymore. Look. That's better. Whew. Well, that's my last get out of jail free card spent. And yours too, it seems. Yoink. 
and in the middle of all that I discarded my cloned ID in case Shane scanned me which he didn't because he was more concerned about me trespassing. I think you owe me an ID Senor Gutierrez. Security profile Muchas gracias. And now I'm free to disable the alarms. Now, off to the operations centre. A quick glance to see if Kim, the researcher, has returned yet? Seems not, so on I go. I decide on waiting here to get a feel for the routes the two targets inside take, as seen on my radar. Taking my own advice, I opt to not shoot as soon as I see the first target as I don't know how long they've been there and they might move at the last split second. So I spin around to the other door to get a second look. There's Norris and uh, there's his security detail. You can kill them where they stand now, but there's a pretty big risk that the other will hear it because they're a bit close. If that happens, they're likely to get a shot off and that will alert the guards outside. As I'm doing this, I spot something on my radar. There's Kim, the researcher, returning to research something. Given that I'm waiting for these two to move apart anyway, I take this as an opportunity to take the wanderer out and avoid any complications. This guy represents a low risk to the mission, but if they see a body, it may result in gunfire, and I'm a professional, so dead men tell no tales Kim back up to the OPR room I can see Norris and his pal are close to each other again but I'm pretty confident that once the guard walks over to this side of the room that there will be enough separation to allow me to take him out silently Here they come, shown as the green arrow on the radar. And down they go. And now I move in for the kill. Wait for him to stop moving. Line up the shot. And squeeze the trigger. Mission objective complete. At this point, if you only wish to complete the mission, you can just make your way out, discarding your cloned ID as it's no longer required, and it'll be a breeze back to your ship to then leave with a job well done. But I'm going to go continue to rob these criminals blind because those engineering modifications don't get done on their own, do they? This room is a great location for some rare and difficult to obtain items, specifically weapon and suit schematics in this particular locker. Might as well turn all this stuff off. Now the alarms are off, it's not strictly necessary, but Hindsight is always 2020, so. quick Tesla stop. There's usually a data port in this room and this worker is in my way. 
I can just go straight in and take them down, but it's an unnecessary risk, more so given I already used up my one warning. I recommend waiting until you can see the target moving before moving into engage. It's like when driving and approaching green light. If it's been green a while, chances are it will switch to red before you get close enough. But if the light has just turned green, then it's more likely it won't surprise you as you approach. So if you wait for your next target to move, you can better anticipate where they're going. In this case, he walks away, so it's an easy shot. No pressure, job done. And here's the data port. I tend to skip this locker as it doesn't usually have much of uh, value in it. Similarly for this one, although surveillance equipment is useful if you're looking to unlock Yard and Bond, and you can quite often find that here. Off to the power center. Quick mental note, the Body Cleanup Corporation appear to have done a fine job making my bodies vanish. Top job, chaps. Hi, Grace. Bye, Grace. This locker can contain some good stuff. Aha, lovely. Ionized gas. Soon recharging. Soon fully charged. All of these data types can be used for something, so I'm going to download them all. I'll speed this part up. So I'm done with this building now, it's time to make my way out and around to the hub buildings. I can just shoot these guards, but this is the safer option. A bit passive maybe, but if this is a high security settlement, you may need to be smart here. I didn't need to kill Houston there, but he might have a bounty. Oh well. At this point, I like to do a quick rooftop sweep to make sure I'm tagging all the targets. There can be some crossover and one stray shot from any of them could result in two or three attacking at once. Instead of that, I go around the back and take them down as they wander into segregated positions.
The distance between these two targets is good here. And no line of sight. I've got audio masking, so... Sit rep normal. Oh joy. How's that sit rep working out for you now, eh? Peekaboo. With both of those two down, I've earned myself quite a bit of target separation between the two hubs. I spent a bit of time trying to tag the others and I reckon there's another one nearby, but I can't see them and I'm not too fussed about that right now. So it's time to head back to the first target again who should now be all on their lonesome. The option here is to shoot head on, but that does carry a slight risk. So. From the side it is. Now, I did spot this guy before, if you recall. But I made the mistake of leaving them alone here. I mistakenly thought they didn't pose a threat and you'll see why that was a mistake soon enough. These hub buildings tend to have one guard in each, relatively easy to take out. I'm looking for the data ports and there's almost always one per hub. So check out the radar. And I totally missed it. Whoops. They were looking right at me. This perfectly deliberate mistake was of course to demonstrate how important it is to pay attention to the radar. Anyway, shields up. Shield activated. This is a strong position to hold, I can just let them come to me, Alamo style. Thanks for the phrase Commander Burr, stole it. They did get a shot off. They missed. Shield deactivated. And because I did due diligence outside, there was enough separation that no one heard their shot. So I'll chalk that off as a win. On to the second hub. This guard's moving, so might as well take up a safe position and wait for her to stop before taking her out. Quick armpit scan. A successful armpit scan. These habs have lots and lots of lockers in the adjoining rooms. And I recommend checking that out if you're hunting for materials. 
I skip that on this occasion as I feel like I've more than overstayed my welcome and I'm not too desperate for them. And now it's time to make my way back to my ship. I might as well take out the remaining guards en route. And that's a wrap, mission complete and none the wiser. Well, except maybe they will be when the next shift starts and someone realises everyone is dead. Whoopsie! As I mentioned before, this video was inspired by one of my viewers and so if you'd like me to take up a challenge on foot in game, then please do make your suggestions in the comments. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, please do let me know. Or if you prefer to see more guides and there's something you'd like to see, I'm open to all feedback. I want to say a huge thanks to the Burrs over at the Burr Pit. I know that they have graciously continued to mention my channel despite me not being active recently. And I appreciate their support so much. I also want to thank you all my viewers for sticking around and watching this video today. I hope it was worth the wait. Thanks for continuing to watch my videos and to all those who have subscribed as well. The channel just reached the 2k mark, which is no small milestone for me. Thank you so much, everyone. Until next time, remember, always stay stealthy.